welcome back to another video from HSTV and in today's video this is going to be day one of my placement here in Dumfries and Galloway, a peripheral placement with the University of Edinburgh and if you've seen the last vlog you will have seen the whole moving process. That was pretty fun, now it's all getting very real. I've spent my first night here uh, and I've just uh, had my little breakfast smoothie. I've now gotten dressed into my scrubs. The great thing is because the accommodation is in the hospital basically, like the building next to it, um, I can wake up like closer to the time of uh, induction. So the induction's at 9.15, the time right now is about half eight. So um, it's gonna be a short walk just um, to the uh, education center where we'll get an introduction to the staff and the wards and what we'll be doing. So yeah, let's go. Hours later. All right, guys. So yeah, I'm um, been about one two hours now, uh, but two hours actually, and uh, we've just had a bit of an induction to Dumfries and Galloway. Not just the hospital, actually. They've told us all about restaurants, cafes, activities to do as well. Also, how to use the computer systems. Obviously, so you know, Dumfries and Galloway is a different health board to NHS Lothian, so they use slightly different systems. But more excitingly, they gave us some very interesting um, things here in this little pack which is really nice it makes us feel more part of the team so uh, it is good so let me quickly show you guys what's in here um, the most exciting thing is probably this phone right here so um, this phone is actually uh, I'm gonna have to see how you actually work it um, but uh, yeah it's got some good numbers on there actually that could be useful for us um, for contacting kind of colleagues doctors students the medical education team that kind of thing so um, that is quite handy it works on wi-fi so it, it is a bit dependent on the wi-fi but it's quite good that we've got all the numbers in there in case we need to contact somebody um other things that we've got in here this is quite nice a little lanyard and also um a, a security badge here to get us into the right places it's quite nice actually that the lanyard says medical student on it um, you know anything to make the medical students feel more part of the team is always appreciated we also have a key for lockers and um, so they actually showed us the doctor's mess and uh, there's some lockers there so we will have our own locker and then also so that's just the charger for the phone and then this is actually um uh, envelope of very important documents um, for our logins for the computers so if we want to view patient notes and that sort of thing so that's very confidential I can't show you inside there um, but yeah it's again quite nice that even though we're only here for five weeks we are able to get full access to patient records and just make the most of the placement here. So the plan right now is I'm actually going to do a bit of munching, I'm going to do a bit of eating right now um, and then after that at half 12 we're going to go and meet um, the doctor who's kind of our supervisor and he's going to show us around the children's ward. Um, just a bit of background on kind of paediatrics, so we've been told that we'll be in the paediatric ward, paediatric outpatient and also the neonates. Um, so really after a baby is born the paediatric team are in charge of it and um, so we will see everything from kind of neonates newborn babies all the way up to kind of adolescent teenagers that's what paediatrics is all about and you know what i'm really excited for this blog because we didn't do much of paediatrics at all last year uh, so yeah i'm really looking forward to it one hour later okay so um that is another few hours gone i feel like the only time i come and record is in my bedroom but it's just because the induction has been quite busy i've been in and around the hospital and it's a bit difficult to film things but basically induction is now complete we had a little meeting with the pediatrician and he gave us a little tour of the outpatient clinic of the ward and also the neonates ward um so the great thing is that this placement is very flexible so there's only three medical students from edinburgh placed on paediatrics at the moment and between the three of us he is very happy to just let us rotate around and 
go see interesting things when we want to, um, which is nice in a way, because uh, who doesn't like a bit of flexibility? Um, for the rest of the day, however, we don't have to be on um, placement. We just can get on with our studying or doing modules or whatever. So uh, I'm just going to change. Uh, and then actually, the first thing I need to do is pray my dhuhr. Um I did actually ask about prayer rooms. And at some point over these vlogs, either in this vlog or a different vlog, uh, I will show you the prayer room as well. I'm yet to see it myself uh, but for the moment um, I'm going to pray and yeah after that we'll see what the plan is for the rest of the day the weather has taken a bit of a toll um, it's uh, gotten a bit grim so uh, nothing really we can do outside but a few activities to be getting on with inside including a sick child module that I need to complete and yeah I've just been trying to make some study plans and just trying to get sorted with things also, dinner at some point needs to be sorted out. I'm very grateful to my mother who has given me some meals that I can just microwave. Uh, so shout out to Mama G as always. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. So yeah, just had dinner. Cannot tell you how grateful I am to my mum for um, giving me dinner. I would highly recommend this. Like if you're going on a profile placement or to be honest, even if you're just gonna be living alone for uni or whatever, do some meal prep, have some meals ready because things get so hectic. It takes a while to get used to um, a new environment and having like meals that you can just microwave and that are nutritious and ready to go really satisfies your inner fuel um so yeah that was a very good move from my mum um yeah i'm just like walking about my room right now um waiting for my dinner to digest um and yeah uh weather is like really bad um it's gone from bad to worse now i think um i've still not completed that sick child module um it's just so long and there's too many videos. I've done like 58% of it, I think. So hopefully by tomorrow that will be done. The other thing that's kind of annoying in this room is there's no wall clock. And I'm one of those people who's very time conscious. Like I always wear a watch. Um, I have like three clocks in my own room. Um, so not having a single clock in this room is kind of bugging me a bit. So I don't know if I, go out uh, to the shops, I might just get myself at least a little one to put on my side table or something. Um, I don't know if you guys watched the last video or not, but um, I can give you a quick room tour um, in case you're wondering what on earth is going on. Um, yeah, let's do a room tour. So as you come in through the front door, you've got some hanging spaces up here, which I've just covered in scrubs at this point and a jacket. Um, then to your right hand side, you've got a toilet. Now all the rooms in this accommodation have ensuite toilets. So this is really, really handy, really good. Um, and the good thing is that each toilet also has a shower, um, which is lovely. Uh, coming out of the toilet, let's get the light off here. Um, beside the toilet, you have got a cupboard. Now, I actually didn't know that we'd have such a nice spacious cupboard, otherwise I would have brought hangers to actually hang up my clothes. But anyway, kind of set them up there. Um, you also have some drawers here at the bottom that you potentially could use for shoes. I mean, that's what I've done at least. I've got shoes in there. There we go. Um, but yeah i mean good storage space there um then moving down this side this is just my stuff kitchen stuff backpack bin and uh, we've got a desk around here which uh is slowly populating with random stuff these shelves um this is actually a mini freezer fridge now there is no obligation for you to have one 
I, I just had one in my house and dad was like, you know, you might as well take it. So, yes, that is um, the fridge and it's full now. So, there you go, fridge tour. Uh, nice some uh, shelves up here. So, yeah, I mean, I guess this is really good if you're staying long term. You've got plenty of space to actually get set up. I've seen some of the other rooms from my window and they've got plants and things as well. Um, over here, yeah, this is a desk space um, with more of my stuff. Um, and then you've also got some drawers and some shelves down here as well. Again, they make everything so spacious and nice. You've got a nice chair. Lots of sockets as well, by the way. You really cannot live without sockets these days. So that's really helpful. And then, main event, we got the bed. Um, this is just a single bed with a spring mattress. I wanted lie to you, you know, I do miss my memory foam mattress at home, but that's just me making a fuss and I need to grow up. Um, so that's that. And you can bring your own like duvet and you can put down your own bed sheets and things. So that's quite nice. And then here you've got a side table um, and you've got some drawers and more drawers and you can lock the drawers. Um, around here, this is quite nice. You've got a lamp and you got a little reading light as well. So nowadays, I'm a Kindle girly, but um, back in the day when I was books, 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 this would have been really handy. Um, and the other great thing, which I love, this is the sort of thing that they do in hotels. They've put a light switch beside your bed so you can actually turn off that light from here. There we go. And that's really handy to have. And then, yeah, you've got a radiator here, which, to be honest, I don't know exactly how you use. I assume it's probably from there, but I also don't see any mains kind of um, radiation uh, switch thing. So, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't need it at the moment anyway. I'm all right. Um, and then we've got a nice view, a nice green view, well, rainy view at the moment. And you can see um, some of the other flats around there as well. So yeah, it's quite nice. So my um, room is actually looking onto the back of the um, uh, hospital. So that's why you've got that. One of some of the other rooms, they can see the car park at the front. So yeah, guys, that is the room tour. The official room tour with me kind of settled in and got everything set up. Oh yes, we also have a mirror around here as well. quarter to nine I was just um, having a little chit chat with the family and pretty much now I don't know what to do I'm actually really tired I think I'm probably just tired from like moving new environment getting used to everything oh, I should probably close the curtain so really I am just literally gonna um, brush my teeth and um, finish up with my prayers of the day and then just get into bed uh, probably read my Kindle and then that will be me done for the day. Um, honestly, sometimes when you're at home, you can have like slightly later um, bedtimes just because there's something going on. But I felt that because I'm alone and I just sit there quietly, like getting on with my own thing, I tend to get tired and like sleepy. Um, so I'm just really tired now. I'm going to call it a day here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this vlog has been insightful for you. Let me know if you have any questions about anything you've seen today. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. P.S. Yeah, if you haven't invested in a Kindle, invest in one. No, this is not sponsored. Um, I was a big, big reader uh, when I was a child. And then as I got into my teenage years, I kind of couldn't really find the genre of books that I liked. And then I also really got busy with studying and I fell out of reading a bit, which was really sad. And I always loved books. I love bookshelves, that kind of thing. Um, and then it started to annoy me that I'd have to have a bright light on at night in order to read a book. Um, the Kindle has solved all those problems. It's not bright. It's great. There's unlimited collection of books. There is something for everyone. So I would highly recommend that you get yourself a Kindle. It's so portable as well, by the way. It's like small. It's like just slightly bigger than my phone, uh, which is a good thing. So yeah, shout out to the Kindle.